Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So, I'm not going to talk too much about it. I know a lot of you guys don't really enjoy the questing parts of the videos. So, I'm just going to put on screen right now a couple of the ones I've done over today because I was away and yeah, I just thought I'd record them anyway, take some screenshots and just show you guys at the beginning of this video what I've been doing. I've also got myself some Virtus boots now. I saw a lot of comments on my last video saying to go for those instead of the ones I currently had. So yeah, I went ahead, bought those, and I've also seen suggestions for a god book as well. But yeah, apart from that, we are pretty much set to go and I'm really happy with it. So thank you again for all the suggestions. But yeah, that is pretty much what I've been doing today. I didn't manage to get through too many, but one small favor on oh my days. What an annoying quest that is, but I need to go and do the legends quest right now to actually do the rest of this quest right here. And then I'm gonna move on and do some bossing because I have a partner set up. We're gonna go do some Vindicta. They are incredibly lucky. So hopefully I can get some of that luck make some nice new additions to the loot tab, or maybe get a pet, that would be insane. I have to be a bit quieter because everyone is in bed, but with this final selection of XP in magic right here, we now have under 400k until 114, and there we go for the end of that quest. Four quest points there, and the legends quest completed. Not too bad. So obviously, because of all the quests I've been doing, I have gathered up quite a few treasure hunt keys, and there is an awesome promotion right now, which is of course the meteors, so yeah, they're actually really good. Well, that was a perfect amount. We've used all our keys up. We got a few more of these logs in the bank, but yeah, this is what we're looking at so far. So let's go ahead and use all of these. So if we use it on these ones, you get an extra 100%. So we're actually just gonna go ahead and use all of these on Dungeoneering because I want that to be moved along as quickly as possible. So confirm. We pretty much just got one mil XP that's, that's crazy. And let's do it on this again. I don't really care about any other ones right now. So that's a plus 75%. And that's 68k. We just got 1 mil. But yeah, there we go. That is the promotion. It is very OP and incredibly useful, especially for your 5 lower skills. So that is cool. We still have a couple of mini parts of the recipe for disaster quest. So I should be getting around 6 more keys. And then I'll do my daily as well, so yeah, not too bad. Some more coming my way very soon. I cannot begin to explain how annoying this has been for me. So in order to complete part of this quest, I had to get all my monkey groovies back and my amulet because I never kept them obviously from when I did the quest. And now I'm finally back so I can actually make them again. But the process of getting all this stuff here is just so painful and it takes quite a long time as well, so yeah. That's what I've been doing. I urge anyone who hasn't done Monkey Madness yet, or if you've still got your stuff, to just keep them because it really isn't worth the time. Finally, the end of this quest. This has been the bane of my life. There we go, we finally have that completed. So that is that done. Is that the whole quest complete? Or is that, yes it is, awesome. Okay, that's great. So because I only recently started collecting up the treasure hunter keys I got from the quest, there were a couple that I got before. I also did some training from Vic the Trader as well to uh, get some in Dungeoneering, not all of it, but some. And yeah, nearly 3 million XP. We'll probably have over that by the end of this video because I do have to do my extended Dungeoneering daily, which I'll get some keys from. And I also will probably do some more quests as well, knowing me because I obviously do want the cape. But yeah, 3 mil, that is gonna be awesome. My main plan with Dungeoneering, by the way, is to finish it off on double XP weekend because I want to mix up my time with bossing, with the quest cape, and obviously go for Dungeoneering as well. So I feel like the best time for me to train it and finish that skill off would be on double XP weekend. It's gonna be a lot of fun and gains are gonna be made. And obviously if I get 120 DG done early on the weekend, I will start to work towards 120 Slayer as well. But that that's just on the side, I'm not too sure right now. But I will start to work on that gradually once this one is done and dusted. So yeah, that is pretty much my plan for double XP weekend. Nothing crazy. Normally I have like a massive list of things I wanna do, but to be honest, it's just make the most of my dailies, go for 120 DG, and then obviously use all of my protein items as well. If I show you guys how many we have, we have got a decent amount of protein items stacked up, as you can see here, all of these ones. So I do wanna do some transferring on the logs and the traps, but for right now, 
I'm just gonna leave it until I decide what I want to use it on. It'll probably be on bars to be honest because smithing is quite expensive. Yeah, they'll probably go towards smithing, but for right now, I will just leave them like that. But that's pretty much it for my double XP plans. Time to move on to something else. So on Monday, as you guys probably know, the new D&D was released, Memorial to Guthix, and it comes with a bunch of perks for the rewards, and I wanted to come and give it a try. For one, if you complete one set of the Echoes, it's actually a comp requirement and a Master Quest Cape requirement ticked off the list, and also, like I said, you get a bunch of perks, and the rewards are really good, but first of all, Look at this place, it is insane. I've seen some pictures of it, it has taken me quite a long time to come here, like I said I've been busy, but it just, wow, it just, it looks amazing. And if you guys have been watching me for some time, you know that I love my graphics and this is just so simple, but so effective and nice at the same time. Everything about it is awesome. Well, as you can see in my inventory here, we now have all of the engrams collected. I need to go ahead now and train some div to get the strands. I can buy the energies, but I'm just gonna train on the cursed ones so I can just transfer them into whatever ones I need. But yeah, I'm just gonna go and do that now because I can't get anywhere until they are all charged, which does take a decent amount of strands. I don't know how common they are, but once we hand them in, we can prestige and that'll be awesome. So I've just come back now and I don't have enough of the pieces to actually charge it. Apparently it takes around eight hours to get all the parts. So yeah, I'm not gonna be sitting there for eight hours today doing that. However, I will do it tomorrow and show you guys probably in the next video to kick it off with. But for right now, I'm gonna go do some bossing. I'm gonna go do some corp and then maybe some vindicta after. I don't know, I just find it pretty chill. So I'm gonna go there now, gear up. And I've also changed my ability bar again, thanks to June Song's video, so yeah, let's go. Sweet, we just got 20 million XP in defense. That is cool. I wasn't even expecting that to come along anytime soon. So yeah, that was a surprise for me as well. But there we go, 20 mil, not bad. By the way, I know that I'm gonna get some comments saying how I haven't got my Excalibur on me and I should have it for life regaining. But yeah, I don't have it in my bank right now. So I need to go and reclaim it. But I'm not gonna be here, like, like he just said, one kill left. So we weren't gonna be here for very long. But for the next time, I'll definitely bring it. So this right here is from around, I would say, 40 minutes or maybe 45 minutes. And we got 5.3 mils. So to be honest, not too bad, especially if you're going solo. But it's still 2.7 mil-ish each. So we got some nice onyx bolts there. We didn't get any cannonballs, but we got three of the Regan bracelets. And that's pretty much it, to be honest, for the good stuff. But yeah, not too bad. A lot of people ask me why I go bossing in duos with people and not solo. And honestly, it's just because I find it so much more fun to go with people or just with one person just to chill out with them. And I don't know, it just makes it a lot more fun in my opinion than just standing there. So for me, it's more about having fun, I guess, as opposed to getting all of the loot. But yeah, this is it so far. And again, thank you to Mick Verm for going with me. There we go, another quest done. Hazel Cult, extremely easy, extremely quick, but just thought I'd record that. 253 out of 389 quest points left. Sweet, so Vindicta is definitely happening. I'm just about to set up my inventory right now, and it actually gives me a chance to test out my new mage gear. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that as well. Two bosses in one video. It is a very rare occasion for me, so slap that like button and I'll do it a lot more. But yeah, let's go. So this just came to mind. I'm not too sure if you were subscribed to me when this happened, but when God Wars 2 first came out, I came here and on around my fifth kill of Vindicta, I got the crest drop. So imagine if we got that luck now. I mean, it was worth nowhere near what it is now, but that would be insane. Also, Rawvex just gave me a really cool idea to make a Discord for all my subscribers. And I literally just downloaded Discord the other day. So if you guys think it's a good idea, let me know down below because I'm completely up for it but I need you guys to let me know if you would join it or not. So if you would, leave the video a thumbs up and just let me know so I know. And if not, obviously you can just tell me, but I think it'd be pretty cool, a nice way to interact with you guys. It would be really awesome. So we've just finished the hour and this is the drops that we've got right here. Look at this, right? Just check this out. This is why she's done it on video. Watch this, ready? 25 kills. But yeah, this right here is the total loot. We got 5.2 mil worth and the only sort of drops we got which I guess are higher value per one, is the essence and the legs here. But apart from that, it's just your average stuff. It's been so long since I've been there. So honestly, I don't really know what's good and what's bad, but 5.2 mil in an hour is pretty decent. So yeah, I'm happy with that. It's more stuff for the loot tab. I think we're going again later on. 
so you'll probably see some more in the next video. But um, yeah, there we go, nice. To end off this video, this is the final look of the loot tab from this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. Like I said, I've tried to do a lot more bossing because you guys wanted to see it and I feel like I'm going to get addicted to Vindicta. So <laughs> yeah, you're probably going to see a lot more of that very, very soon. But until then, guys, I will have to love you and leave you. It is pretty late right now. I apologize for the later upload, but I want this up today for you guys. So hopefully, like I said, if you have enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Let me know down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.